Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next question, we're given the function 3 minus the absolute value of x, and they want us to look at it in the viewing window where x min is negative 6, x max is 6, and the same for y min and y max. And then they want us to find out where the function is increasing or decreasing and state any relative max or min. Well, let's look at that graph. All right, let's make sure the calculators are on. There we go. All right, I always like to start with zoom 6 to make sure we have a standard window, and we do. I hit y equals 3 minus, and absolute value is in a couple places. You can find it in the math menu but I teach my students to find it in catalog. So I hit second function catalog and notice the very first option in catalog is ABS with a paren. That stands for the absolute value function. So I'm going to hit enter to pick it and now what I have in my graph under y equals is 3 minus absolute value of and of course we want that to say x so we hit x and we close the paren. Okay? Now, I hit graph, and that's what my picture looks like. Now, they had actually asked me to view it in a special window, which, to be honest, I don't know why, because it's really not going to make any difference to your answer, but I'll make them happy since this is a course compass homework problem, and when you encounter it, I want you to be able to do it. So we're going to hit window, they want us to go from the opposite of 6 to 6. Don't change the scale, so just hit the down arrow. And then when we get to y min, we're going to change it to the, come down with me, to the opposite of 6, down arrow, positive 6. Don't change the scale. And hit graph. So see, really, that was sort of much ado about nothing. They were just getting you to practice how to change windows, but it doesn't really change the graph. If I hit trace, my y-intercept is 0, 3, and I see that that is the um, actually king of the mountain here. Okay? And I can also notice the graph crosses the x-axis at positive 3 and at negative 3. So when I trace this graph on my paper... I have the ordered pair 0, 3 here, I have 3, 0 here, I have negative 3, 0 here, and I draw not a parabola, but very straight edges, not the curve that a parabola would have. And that's my graph. The highest point on the graph is the ordered pair 0, 3. Now, if I'm looking for relative maximum, I'm looking for relative minimum. Let's see. Relative minimum, no, because I have no valleys. There's no valleys at all in this curve, so nothing meets that definition, so none. Relative maximum. The only point where that even occurs here, the top of the hill, is at 0, 3. And remember that the maximum is always the y value. So the relative maximum is 3. Okay? Now, for the relative, I mean rather for increasing and decreasing, increasing and decreasing, we remember that we always scan from left to right. This part of the graph is increasing. This part of the graph is decreasing. Increasing and decreasing always involve x. So this x value of 0 is where it changes from increasing to decreasing. So I'm going to put a little note there that x equals 0 is kind of a, that vertical line is where the change occurs. So increasing, we're coming from where? From negative infinity to 0. 
So from negative infinity to zero is where our graph is increasing. And remember, no bracket. It's always open. It's a paren. And decreasing, we start walking at zero. And on the x-axis, we walk out to infinity. As I go from zero to infinity, the graph is dropping. So decreasing, we would write zero to infinity. And again, remember, I know this y value is going toward negative infinity, but that's not what I'm asking. Decreasing says, tell me where you're walking on the x-axis as you're watching the graph drop. And you're walking from zero toward infinity, and you're seeing the graph drop. Decreasing is always in terms of x. Infinity is a direction on the x-axis. Okay, so we are done.